Hi, so today in this video, I'm going to talk about why fintechs in India are hiring quant in the investment area, right? Fintechs normally do not hire quants in the investment area. They normally hire quants in the risk management area, in the compliance area, in collection uh, area, contact center areas, but not in investment areas, right? Not uh, many fintechs I know actually hire uh, in the investment area, but that trend is actually changing. Uh, I've come across so many uh, vacancies in fintechs in the investment area. Recently, I came across a couple of vacancies in PhonePay in India. PhonePay is uh, a, a company that is uh, owned by Flipkart, which is again owned by uh, Walmart. And it is hiring quants in the investment area. And I've also uh, I also came across several such openings at f different other fintechs in India. And I was curious to know as to why that is happening. And often talking to uh, a former colleague of mine who is heading uh, a department in one of the leading fintech in India, uh, what he told me was that uh, these fintechs are moving into the wealth management area quite big time and hence they are they are hiring quants in the investment area now wealth management was not uh, a very lucrative business uh, in india until until the covid happened and uh, when the stock market skyrocketed and i think there were a lot of uh, retail customers willing to put in the money in the in the equity market and because of this change in the trend I think a lot of the fintechs, which have, uh, which have got you know data of many retail investors, they want to get into this space, uh, and it's very lucrative because you get a fixed commission, uh, and commission-based earning is much better than uh, interest-based uh, earning. I think any um, any banker will tell you that uh, you know if you earn your money through fees, that's better because that is certain compared to earning it through interest. Because when you earn through interest, right, you lend money, there is a risk involved, and there is uh, always uh, uncertainty uh, with regards to uh, changes happening in the interest rate. But when it comes to wealth management, right, regardless of what happens, uh, whoever is the wealth manager, uh, that is going to get uh, a commission, right? It's fixed commission. You also have sometimes uh, variable commission, but there is always a fixed commission, right? So that's a very lucrative business. And especially in a country like India, where many new investors are coming into the equity market, I think it's one of the finest time to start a wealth management uh, business. And these um, fintech companies are uh, realizing that uh, of late, and they're investing uh, quite heavily into, uh, you know, expanding into wealth management. And the good thing is that they do have the data right uh, that of many customers so they understand the spending pattern who is having uh, how much of income all that information is with these fintech companies right and uh, yeah they do have access to all kinds of uh, amazing uh, wonderful information in fact they have more information compared to the traditional banks but in many ways i would say um, so that is that will work towards their advantage um one uh well i wanted to discuss also the you know the job profile and you know the one that i came across in phone pay now these are role role profiles which are you know quant uh, job role uh, profiles actually but they don't expect you to have experience in uh, in in quant finance uh, that's very uh, interesting thing i think i i noticed because i think these people realize that in india there's simply not too many people skilled in this area and, and the ones who are working in, you know, the global companies, global uh, wealth management company, they probably won't be interested because they're already probably making quite good money and these folks may not be able to afford them, right? If somebody is working at BlackRock or Vanguard, he probably won't be interested to work uh, with uh, phone pay, right? Uh, so they don't have that expectation of prior experience. Uh, but they do have the expect expectation that you should be um, familiar with uh, the well-known techniques, right? Uh, your expectation is more on uh, understanding of time series modeling. You should be able to do security analysis. So 
understanding of uh, finance is very important corporate finance in particular understanding of some accounting you know understanding of uh, financial ratios and how you should interpret them understanding of macroeconomics risk management um but also data research right just um, you know um doing data analytics work right purely finding patterns and anomalies in the data uh, is very important so it's very uh, interesting role i feel um and um, yeah it it's uh, it it's uh, it's a job profile where you will not be expected to have understanding of derivatives and how they work you may not uh, understand the different uh, financial products such as you know all the hedging products but um, um yeah they are more mostly into equity so as long as you understand equities i think most people who do some trading have some understanding of equities i think that should be fine so no they don't expect you to be a finance expert but if you are an analytical person if you have already some experience with data science you have worked as a quant in any area need not be in investment area but even in banking lending area also there's quite uh, okay with that and um, and it's not phone pay that is hiring i think crate this company called crate in uh, in mumbai i think even they are into uh, wealth management more recently i think paytm as well i think some other uh, fintech firms are also um, getting into wealth management space so if you are someone who is looking to get into quant profile in investment area i think uh, go through you know these uh, job profiles and probably will be interested and that's also a one easy way to get into uh, quant finance uh, in the investment space because if you really want to work for blackrock as a quant or a beko or these big firms it's not that easy right they, because they get uh, cvs from thousands and thousands of highly qualified people but for these companies right phone pay and these they probably don't get that many cvs right so it's the entry barrier is low and once you get experience there a couple of years of experience then you can move to more global uh, asset management firms uh, so wonderful opportunities in my view and, and another good thing is that they don't expect you you to be an expert in stochastic calculus and have great understanding of theoretical quant finance right as long as you are familiar with uh, some finance and have good understanding of time series analysis regression analysis some machine learning uh, techniques and you are able to write code i think uh, and extract data i think you are good to go right traditional quant finance company asset finance uh, company will expect more from you right but these company don't uh, probably they will be hiring some people to train you uh, so yeah if you are interested i think have a look at these profiles and i think many of them are advertised uh, on linkedin but you can also find them on other places any question as always let me know in the comment section guys thanks